Cyprus, the third largest island in the Mediterranean, with an area of 9,251 square kilometers and a population of 793,000, is a modern country, member state of the European Union as of May 2004, with a long history and culture going as far back as the 8th millennium BC. The archaeological site of Hirokitia is one of the most impressive Neolithic settlements in the world and is also on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Replicas of the dwellings have been constructed here so that visitors can see how people really lived thousands of years ago. New technology. Greek language, religion and culture were brought to Cyprus from Mycenae in mainland Greece during and after the 13th century BC. Here lie the roots of Cyprus's unwavering orientation towards Europe. The Greeks built magnificent city kingdoms which lasted for centuries as centers of trade and civilization in the Mediterranean world. The town of Paphos preserves its original name until today. Among other archaeological sites, one can see in Paphos the unique underground tombs of the kings carved out of the rock in the 12th century BC, as well as the 3rd century mosaic floors at the houses of Dionysus, Theseus and Aeon. The smaller relics of this fascinating past are carefully preserved in various archaeological museums found in all towns, as well as next to ancient sites. The rich copper reserves of Cyprus and its strategic location attracted many invaders over the centuries, all the way to the Roman conquest of the island, which once more encouraged Greek civilization and culture. Cyprus was one of the first countries to receive and accept the Christian message as delivered by the Apostles Paul and Barnabas. The latter is celebrated as the founder saint of the Autocephalous Church of Cyprus. Indeed, Cyprus's main characteristic during the eight centuries of Byzantine administration was its Christian Orthodox orientation. In those times, the arts went through a period of impressive growth. The hands of the artists created masterpieces of fine technique. The church has featured exquisite mosaics and frescoes, and the architectural styles created works that inspire awe and wonderment to this day. Ten such Byzantine churches are listed today by UNESCO as protected monuments and world heritage sites. During the Middle Ages, the island was taken from the Byzantines by the English, who sold it to the French, who in turn lost it to the Venetians. In the 16th century, the Ottoman Turks conquered the island to almost plunge it into oblivion. By the end of the 19th century, they ceded it to the British, who were welcomed by the Christian population of the island as liberators. Yet. Cyprus had to fight for its independence, which was effected in 1960. Like most other people in a region that has endured uncertainty and hardships of a turbulent history, the Cypriots revere life and live it to the full. Even though the fascinating tapestry that is modern Cyprus has been fashioned by the various settlers and conquerors who've come and gone through the ages, all leaving behind monuments of their own specific culture, the prevailing image which gives Cyprus its particular character of contrasts is its contemporary architecture and modern highways.
these are the achievements of the island's modern-day population, whose cosmopolitan nature is the one characteristic it has held fast to since ancient times. The arts are today flourishing in Cyprus, with theatre, modern dance groups and music performances by the state orchestra and private musical groups, and innumerable art galleries exhibiting new works of art all over the island. Traditional handicrafts, however, are not abandoned, but promoted in order to encourage younger generations to continue the tradition. One of the main features of popular culture are the island's annual festivals, like the wine festival organized in Limassol every September. Cyprus has been producing famous wines since antiquity, and many are the locals and visitors alike who throng to Limassol's wine festival to taste new and old wines. Despite their modern lifestyles, the Cypriots are strongly traditional in their family life, taking advantage of every opportunity to attend or take part in festivals, village fairs and religious fates, where traditional ways of preparing food, music making and dancing can both be seen and delved into.